Hi, I'm Chef Jeff, and today I'm flipping food at a kitchen cabinet factory. Let's get in the kitchen and let's get cooking. On today's Flip My Food, join host Chef Jeff as he teams up with Mouser Cabinetry to help you have a kitchen to be proud of. From beautiful cabinets on your walls to delicious food on your table. Welcome to my food kitchen. I'm here with Steve, the director of all the cabinet making that goes on here at Mauser. What would you do if you were to upgrade some cabinetry here? Talk a little bit about what you guys do. Well, uh, first of all, uh, we call it furniture for the kitchen. So it's got to do more than be functional. Yes. It's got to look good and be stylish in the home. Yes. Uh, what we would do here is probably get you some uh, deeper wall cabinets so that you can get some... Hopefully uh, I can get some free cabinets. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead, Steve. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Keep talking. <laughs> deeper wall cabinets so that you can store some of your bigger equipment. Okay. Very easily. Okay. Um, if we had an opportunity to do anything in the bases, we would probably bring in some rollouts mm. gotcha. so you could easily access things. A custom manufacturer can cater the cabinetry to your exact needs and, and desires. Yeah. So that's a key. That's that's what we do. You ready to start cooking? Sure. Are yes. you, do you cook a little bit? Well, I, a little oh, bit, uh -huh. but I'll tell you what. Confession time right there, here. There are those who prepare and there are those who consume. I'm on the consumer side. You're on the consumer side. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to teach right. you how to make a very simple, and you folks at home as well, a brine pork chop. And when you brine meat, it really tenderizes it, makes it very juicy, keeps it from drying out. You know how you regularly take right. a pork chop yeah. or a steak, you grill it, right. it's kind of dry, you got to douse it with sauce. This pork chop, you won't need any sauce, uh, let me tell you. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do here, we got a little bit of water here, okay? What we want to do, we want to add the peppercorns here. I'm going to add some peppercorns here, about a tablespoon and a half of peppercorns. We're going to add about maybe six garlic cloves here. All right, love garlic. Now we're going to take our salt, because that's how you do the brine. You have water and you have salt. And that's going to bring out all of the great wow. flavors in that pork chop. Take that honey. That's going to bring a little sweetness, because sweetness kind of goes with pork a little bit, you know? Yes, I agree. It looks pretty good. And we'll even rinse off our spatula down oh, in there. There we the go. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. All right. All right. Normally, I would add a little bit of gin, but since we're in bourbon country here, we got some. Talk about what you got oh, in your well, hand there. We have a little wood for reserve. It's one of our favorites in this area. Give me a little splash in there. I'm okay. going to let you go ahead and hook right. that up, Steve. Let's see that. Oh, that's good. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. So now we're going to hold it strong. So we're going to go ahead okay. and pour our liquid. It's cooled down now in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we have some center cut cure border pork chops here. They're about 14 to 16 ounces. You don't have to do any, anything to them at this point. Okay. I like to have bone on my chop. On all my right. Meat, yeah. Because you get that marrow, all that good flavor yes. in there. So hold that bag up high when folks right. at home to see what we got. Set that bag right here. All right. Close that lid up on there. Go all ahead right. and zip it. Zip it? Yes. Let's see if we can oh, get yeah. all this. Is... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now, I want you to go ahead and kind of massage that brine up on there really good oh, on that pork chop. I see. Yeah, Look I at see. that. There you go. All right, perfect. Now, what we're going to do here, Steve, I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator. Okay. And I usually go 24 hours. All right. But if you got an early supper coming up, hey, you can do it in eight hours. But 24 hours will really get that oh, flavor. Oh, okay. That, yeah. yeah. Yes. Moisten the meat and moisten the moisten meat. Moisten it, make it super juicy. And when you serve this Kentucky bourbon right. br honey brine pork chop, okay. you don't even need to have a cocktail. We're going to have it right here in the pork. <laughs> All right? Give me one second. Woo! So that sits there for 24 hours. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Super hot cast iron skillet is the key. You ready? Uh-huh. Here we go. So we're going to work this butter. And as the butter begins to get brown, not burnt, you're gonna get a nutty flavor, okay? You gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it moving, yep. Yeah. Then we're okay. gonna go right in with that pork chop. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna come right here with that pork chop. We got mm. that fresh herb. We're gonna take the garlic right here. We're gonna roast garlic as we cook the pork chop. Okay. So we're gonna put that in there as well. Beautiful. So the key here is to sear the pork chops so they caramelize. Okay. So I'm just gonna move it that around. That seals the juices in, right? Locks the yeah. juices in, absolutely. Look at this. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. The nice and golden here. I see the searing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to go in the oven now at about 350 degrees. Okay. And slow cook it. Try to hit around a good medium temperature. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Look, Look at, at that. that. It's nice and medium, too. May what I? I? Yes. Mmm. Wow, that's a whole sensation of different flavors. And, and it's, it's so tender. 
It's unlike anything I've really tasted before in that And sense. you still taste pork. Yes. Oh, yes. And that's the key to great cooking is when what you add to a protein doesn't overpower exactly what you're eating. Exactly. And the meat is a little sweet, too. Yes, you got that? Exactly. Yeah. Th th that would add to the sweetness along with uh, the honey and the meat. I'm yes. telling you. Beautiful. A family started this company, That's right. correct? How That's many right. years ago? 60 years this year. This 60, year. 60 years, years ago. Wow. We are celebrating our anniversary. Wow. 60 years. Now, That's talk a little bit about some of your woods that you use wood? here. Yes. We have many woods. Okay. Oak, hickory, pine, both painted cherry and stained cherry, mm -hmm. knotty alder and clear alder. Mm -hmm. We will do woods like walnut, something mm -hmm. that's not something that we keep on inventory yes. that a customer might would like their kitchen built up. We are a custom company. You can basically vary this product any way you want it. The corner is always an issue on how you want to access the storage in the corner. Mm -hmm. So this piece actually pulls out, it then slides forward, and then this one also pulls out as well. This is very unique, where we've got a double trash can for recycling, and then also, because the door is full height, we've located a drawer in the top section for extra storage as well. That is amazing. I may need a blueprint to move around this I kitchen here. So much stuff up in here. Okay. Coming up, Chef Jeff shows a quick and easy way to bring homemade Asian flavor to your dinner table. The new weather app from Wave 3 News. New features, the power and precision of the Wave 3 News storm tracking team. Plus, the customization you want. Text weather app to 30203 or search Wave 3 weather in your app store today. On the next Fix It and Finish It, Antonio tears down this terrible deck. This is like a hurricane just passed through. And rebuilds it the right way. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Fix It and Finish It. Today at 2.30 on Wave 3 News. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. If you think all law firms are the same, then you've never been to Sam Aguiar Injury Lawyers. When you visit us, we might be wearing jeans and t-shirts. Or some of our dogs might be with us at the office. But no matter what, you'll definitely see us treat our clients just like family. And we'll always be doing what we love. Helping injured people after an accident. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. You need a better job, so you need a college degree. You've seen all the ads. Confusing, right? Listen, before you get frustrated, take a hard look at Campbellsville University in Louisville. Their award-winning faculty has created adult and online programs geared towards advancing your professional career. Campbellsville offers associates, bachelors, and master degrees with a Christian perspective and manageable tuition for working adults. Classes begin soon, so call or email today. For decades, the internationally renowned surgeons of Kleinert Coots Hand Care Center have pioneered the field of hand surgery. Our hands are so complex that seeing a specialist, even for minor injuries, will give you a better result. I had some elbow pain, so I thought I'd go to Kleinert and Coots. Had orthoscopic surgery on my elbow a couple of weeks ago, and it feels great. With physicians practicing at multiple locations, Kleinert Coots should be your first call. Trust your hands to Kleinert Coots Hand Care Center. I'm with the lovely Kim, who works here for Mauser Cabinetry. I got some local double smoked pork, and we're going to flip it right into All some right. spring roll, sister. Awesome. All right, so here we go. We're going to have some sesame right. seed oil here, right? Okay. It has a high smoke point here. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do here, we're going to take this cabbage here. Okay. We're going to cool it down right okay. here, okay? Mm -hmm. We have some carrots right here. You can buy carrots already julienned up. Mm -hmm. We have shiitake mushrooms, okay. which is very, very Asian. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, we're going to take just a little bit of pepper. Okay. We're going to take a little bit of salt. Okay. Go ahead and work that, okay? Gotcha. Now, we're going to come with a dark soy. Okay. And when I use dark soy, mm -hmm. we're not going to use as much. It has a little bit more sodium mm -hmm. than your light soy. Okay. But it actually brings in a different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. A little teaspoon of, uh, of the light soy as well. So if you're you, washing your sodium, you're going to go with the lighter soy. You want to okay. go more with the lighter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, we're going to hit it with a little bit of citrus, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Balance off some of those flavors there. Okay. That salt and that sodium. A little lime juice. Okay. I'm going to come here. We're going to okay. put those scallions awesome. in there. Perfect. Now, i got a special ingredient. Uh -huh. Double smoked ham. Cured to perfection, Kim. Now, we're going to work that. It's beautiful, beautiful. I have some fresh cilantro leaves here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to finish up just with a few little chili flakes. Everything you add is 
Oh, yeah, so my the, goodness. Yeah, you can just tell the flavor. So you get that coming really out? Really come out of there. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a little sweet and sour sauce, okay? Oh, awesome. Yeah, so we got, a, we got a little bit of water. We're going to take cornstarch. Now, cornstarch will dissolve, so this is probably about uh, four <laughs> tablespoons of cornstarch here. Okay. Now, grab one of those forks. Okay. And I want you to hold this, and I want you to get in there and work it. All, All right. right. That's what we're gonna really good right. now. So what we're gonna do here. Okay. We're gonna take our. So there's our pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna add our soy. Okay. Now is this light the light? That's the light, light soy. Yes. So this is the lower sodium. That's soy. the lower okay. sodium. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna take some brown sugar. Mm-hmm. About a nice tablespoon and a half okay. of brown sugar. Okay. And we can always go back and adjust and once we get going. Okay. That's right. Okay. Now I want you to come and add in okay. just a little, nice little pour. Keep going, perfect. You okay. hold this and you right. work it, right? right? So we'll bring the temperature up there. Okay. I'm gonna start rolling up our spring rolls. All right, so we're gonna okay. do here, we're gonna go ahead and paint our edges here All a little right. bit. Okay. This is just basic egg wash here. Now we're gonna take our filling here. Okay. Get a little more cabbage. Okay, the cabbage. Oh, Plen yeah. Plenty of the meat there, yeah. Mm, <laughs> mm. All right, so now we're gonna take this here. Okay. Roll it. Yep. So now we're going to tuck it in here. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm going to roll these babies up here. Okay. All right. Look at that. Spring roll number one. Chef Jeff didn't mess it up. You I'm did. Look at that. All right. Go ahead and paint okay. the edges here. Paint the edges. All right. Oh, yeah. Go right along the edges. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Now, go ahead All and start right. building your roll. Can I think maybe a little more cabbage? A little bit more cabbage in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to okay. make it kind of, you want to do it kind of tight, so you pull okay, it back pull here. Okay, pull it back there. All right, you want to hold it tight okay. and roll it like a burrito a little bit, right? All right. Then you're going to take this here, and with uh -huh. the egg wash, it kind of glue okay, sticks. Oh, it sticks together, okay. Yeah, now you do awesome. the same thing there, then roll it real tight, roll, okay? Roll tight. All righty, perfect. You are rolling, together, girl. Yes. All right, good. Okay. Grab each one and drop okay. them right in there, okay? All right. We got some sizzle whizzle going on there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So you see how they're starting to get nice yes. and crispy? Uh -huh. Take a wooden spoon and kind of turn okay. them around. And use the handle part, the part that you hold. Oh, okay. Yeah, and turn them over a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see when it's down under the oil, that's how you get your crispiness. Right. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Now. I want you to bring one, each one up and kind of shake the excess oil off. Look at that. You can get your tongs right here. You don't want to squeeze them too hard. Okay. Beautiful. Lay those babies right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you want to do, you want to make sure your tongs don't go into the skin. Okay. Beautiful. That's good. Okay. Set them right there. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Good one. All right. So let's take this one. That was okay. that fat one you made. That was. Here. I made that here, one. Here, take your knife here. All cut right. it in half. Okay. And we're going to dip and eat. All right, now, we're going to hold it up. Okay. Look at that. You've never oh. seen a spring roll like this here, baby. This is Kentucky style. All right. It's still a little hot now, okay. so we're going to go in and dip. Okay. Mm. 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 Very good. With mm. the sauce, the first thing you get is that little bit of pineapple, but then it mixes with that salt that you can taste from that ham. And then the mm. crispiness of the egg roll, it just all comes together in your mouth. It's amazing. In the island here, the top section here is a warming drawer. It has a drawer head on the front that okay. matches the cabinetry. So this will hide the warming drawer. Okay. Pull this drawer open right here. How does that work? Okay, this is actually a tilt down. Okay. Or a cutting board. Now that is cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming up, Chef Jeff shows how to take everything you love most about breakfast and turn it into a healthy salad. Flip My Food is brought to you by Crystal Products. Crystal Hot Sauce. Good on everything. It's all about the Washingtons. Look what your two bucks gets you, baby. Get the taste you love for just two bucks with the delicious Mushroom Swiss or our famous Fry Lovers Burger. Mix or match, two for two bucks. Checkers and rallies. Epic meals, epic deals. September 17th, it's a night of comedy and magic on NBC. What? First, it's Master Ventriloquist Jeff Dunham, unhinged in Hollywood. So have you ever said anything to your wife that you truly regretted? Oh yeah, Leah, marry me, I love you. Then, 
and see how Got Talent winner Matt Franco has reinvented magic in Matt Franco's Got Magic. Where did my phone go? Call his phone for a second. You feel anything? Dude, no way. that's crazy. That was impossible. A special Thursday event, September 17th, 8, 7 Central on NBC. Sometimes we don't know where we're going or how we're going to get there and often wonder if we'll even make it. But by taking things just one step at a time, you can. At Brown Mackey College, our one course a month schedule can help because all that matters is that you'll be a better you. To find out how, call 1-866-870-2903. There's a good reason for a Shrek dance party. Introducing Shrek Ogre O cereal. Crunchy, fruity, tasty O's with lots of green ones. What are you two up to? Mm. Invite Shrek to breakfast and things get a lot more interesting. Get Shrek and other DreamWorks cereals in stores now. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. When you hire a lawyer, you deserve to be treated with courtesy and respect. At Sam Aguiar Injury Lawyers, these are more than just words. It's how we treat each and every client who walks through our door. You want a lawyer who cares enough to listen, but you also need a lawyer who knows how to win. With us, you don't have to choose. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. 877-CALL-SAM. Munchies, crush your cravings with flavor pounding wings and loaded fries. Late night at checkers and rallies. It's in the bag. This is what it looks like when real people playing fantasy football win one million dollars. And now that football's back at DraftKings.com, the one week fantasy sports destination, you can get your share of ten million dollars week one. Just pick your sport, pick your players, and pick up your cash. Play with promo code FOOTBALL and get free entry in our Millionaire Maker event week one. Winner gets $2 million. Get to DraftKings.com now. I'm at one of the top cabinetry places in America with Rick. How you doing, Rick? I'm good. Good man, to see you, man. Talk like about it. your partnership with the greatest cabinetry company in the world. Well, Mauser Cabinet Company, we've been doing business together for about five years. Okay. Uh, they have done very well for me. They've done a great product. They've built anything we've ever wanted. So what, can, what more can you ask for? And your sales folks go out and deal with the customer on a daily basis. We do. They'll daily basis. We do. They'll call us for information, okay. for ideas, and we'll go to the home, make some sketches, give them some ideas, give them some prices, tell them what, what, the, what those ideas might cost. Gotcha. And uh, how creative it can be. And fix them up. All right, Rick, let's get to the cooking right here now. I got a great dish here we're going to cook for you. We have a fried green tomato salad. Now, what I basically did here is I cooked this hickory smoked bacon for one reason. Mm -hmm. I wanted the bacon fat because that's what we're going to fry our fried green tomatoes in. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and cut us about a oh, nice sharp half knife. inch. Yeah. yeah, nice and sharp here. All right, we're going to try to stay consistent in our cut here in these tomatoes, all right? The first process is you go into all-purpose flour. Then you dip it into your egg mixture. Then you dip it in cornmeal. Make sure we get a nice, even coat. Beautiful. That looks oh, yeah. good. Oh, yeah. We're going country on them here today. Look at that. Oh, I'll tell you, you can't beat country cutting. Mm -mm, not at all. Look at that, Rick. We're going to let our tomatoes just kind of sear a little bit, right? Now we're going to turn over fried green tomatoes. Uh, there we go, just a little bit charred. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's start bringing our 
salad together. I want to mix everything here up really, really good. If we have any big leaves here, I'll kind of tear them apart just a little bit here. We have some nice radishes. Sliced nice and thin. Oh, yeah, yes. nice and thin here. You're welcome. Now, we got our charred corn here with our fresh okra. So we want to move everything around here and toss it really good. That is shaping up nice. Beautiful, yes. All right, now, look at this. Double smoked ham. You got to taste this, Rick. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yes. Mm. We're going to add that to the salad here. We're going to crunch up some hickory smoked bacon mm -hmm. here. Okay, so now we have everything here. We're going to start off by putting fried green tomatoes around. We're going to take a nice bunch of our lettuce. Our greens here. I want to make sure you see everything in there. Really, really nice. We have some ready-made ranch dressing. Oh, yeah. What you want to do here is just drizzle a little bit on here. Oh, that is beautiful. Just like this. Look at that. We have one more component we have to add here. We got to add our poached egg. Look at that. It's yes, just going to lay right on top? Right on top of there. Look at oh, that. yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Rick? Want to, it's beautiful. Want to try it? Let's try it. Let's yeah. go. I want to make sure I get some of that tomato, which is the star here. Mmm. 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 Oh, there's an egg. I got a double dip. And bacon. And ham. Mmm. Good job, man. Good job. Ooh, excellent. The green tomato's got a nice little tart. Uh, bitter taste to mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. so it's, that's good. And I like the uh, the crispiness of the cornmeal. Like how we seasoned it up. Yes. Gave it some pop, you know. And that ham, oh, mm -hmm. that's, that's that's killer. That's good. Rick, where can we find you in Louisville? Miller's Fancy Bath and Kitchen, Louisville, Kentucky, 3730 Lexington Road. My goodness, Rick, I had a great time cooking with Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, man. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank What about refrigerators? Can you get refrigerators built in to these as well, Sure, too? and most of the time we'll have customers request the appliance panels for the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. That's a Sub-Zero. You guys that has have everything, the, uh, my goodness. panels on the front, the wow. drawers down below, so we inc incorporate the panels on the front of it so it disappears. Up next, Chef Jeff visits one of Louisville's hottest bars to learn some of the tricks of the trade from a master mixologist.